Hi and welcome to another episode. What we've got here is is a Pi MMS. Pimis, Pimimis? Definitely just Pi MMS. It is designed for the multi system, which is a redesign of the Mister, which is a gadget that you can buy that allows you to emulate, stroke, simulate, depending on how you want to argue about it. I'm not getting to that one anymore. Um, so that you can play around with different consoles and computers. Great way of doing it. Um, with the multi system way of doing it, though, it gives you a nice little box of it looks a bit more like a console. This was designed by the people at Heber and it's sold through RMC's website. I'll give a link and so on down below. But it was actually started off with by Dopefish. Um, this guy got some brains about him and sort of well, what's the term for it? I forgot what the term is, but the point is is the fact of you get a Raspberry Pi pretending to be a Roland MT32. And there is designs of where you can take the sound directly out um, through audio cables and whatnot. Um, but this design pumps the sound back through the mister and you get it through your scart lead or whatever you've got hooked up at the back. But you need to install a Raspberry Pi. Now the Raspberry Pi that they recommend for this particular design is a Raspberry Pi 2 or a 2W. I happen to have a 2. I've forgotten what the project was that I bought it for back in March, but it's been sat around doing nothing ever since. Now, you notice it doesn't have the pins uh, installed on it and soldered in because, well, because I bought it separately like that anyway, but for this design, they've already got the pins there. So you don't want the pins already soldered on that one. You want one without the pins. And then stick it on here, solder it in, jobs are good in, and then you mess around with a micro SD card and get it all installed. Now the micro SD card side of everything, I'm going to do a different episode. What I want to do is just take you through on soldering. And this time around, I'm going to do a pin by bin solder. Um, some of you may want to watch that. Some of you might want to just fast forward to the end. Please don't, but um, yes, I'm going to do a bit of soldering because what I want to point out is, is that there's no little stands for the backside of the Raspberry Pi for it to stand on, mainly because it's not really needed, but it would have been nice to have got a couple of little rings of plastic um, or standoffs just to keep it nice and flat while you did some soldering um, because now you've got to hunt around for the bits and pieces that you have to just raise it up just a little bit because obviously you want it to make sure it lines up within here so let's get the blue mat out get the soldering iron done and dusted on warming up and I'll see you in a moment. Before I get started, a word from the sponsor. Way hey, it's PCB Way. They are a fully featured custom PCB service based in China. It doesn't matter if you're a hobbyist wanting a prototype or a company needing a full scale rollout, PCB Way have got you covered. PCB Way have great services ranging from PCB prototypes, CNC, 3D printing, and all the way back around again to PCB assembly. If you're not sure on how to bring your great ideas to market, don't worry. PCB Way have EMS and OEM services, helping you to make sure that not only your product is good product, but a great product. PCB Way are currently having their fifth PCB design contest. They're running along with Mouser Electronics. Get your designs in before 31st of December. They'll judge them over the January 2023, and they'll announce the winners on the 6th of February the same year. For more information on PCB Way's great products and their contest, Check the description down below. So I was trying to figure out how to balance this up because obviously the Pi wants to flop. You can see there's no rises or anything that gets sent, so which is fine. I'm not complaining about that. I'm just saying there isn't any. So I went around and I looked and looked and I thought maybe an SD card would be nice to be resting on there. That's still 
Can we show? Yeah, we can. See, there's still a bit of an angle. But if you rest it with an SD card and then a micro SD card and set it down, it seems pretty flat to me. Obviously, that might ride a little bit different with you. You might have to put a bit of paper in there as well to stuff. Just keep it away from the pins so it doesn't get hot. But what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to show you soldering every single pin. Because basically I want to talk about, well, things in general really. And while I do this, I know I normally say, oh, you don't want to watch all this boring stuff. If you don't want to, that's fine. But I'm going to talk about this and that while I'm doing it and see how far I get. So, first things first. Whoop. I have a new soldering hole bit. The Basically the other one that I had, the bit in the middle, um, when you take it all to bits, had uh, stopped censoring and I was getting an error message on my soldering iron. So I've bought this and for £22 from Amazon, it turns up and it fits my Tenma. Sorry, what number was it on the back? Well, knocking everything over, a Tenma SD, that's Sierra Delta, 01738 and basically it's um, 28 volts out with 60 watts so if that helps anything basically the plug on the end looks like a bit like a CB radio microphone thing and it's got five um, holes for the pin to come out of the thing so 22 pound off Amazon seems to be working fine no errors, but let's get on with actually soldering things up now. So, new bit of solder which I've already mentioned. Let's get some flux. I have been told I should get some better flux. If you can make a comment in the comments <laughs> um, and actually say which one I should get, because this one's been doing okay for me for a while now. I've, this is the second bottle I've used over the years of making this channel. Um, You know, seems to work. I'm going to do a few pins at a time because there's no point really making everything sticky. Um, still, so up to the main chip. I believe that's the main chip anyway. This is only a, um, what is it? A Pi Zero 2. It would have been nice to get the W version because then I could be able to Wi-Fi in at a later date. Maybe I'll desolder it and start again. And I finally can get hold of a, a wireless version, but do I really need it? I'm not too sure because I'll just set it going. So let's get on with zooming in a little bit like we always do with a super vast zoom everyone's got used to by now. Dun, dun, dun. Zoomy, zoomy, zoom, zoom. Let's me see as well. Let me put it across to my other screen so I can see it. Um, line it up a little bit more. Make sure the cards are nice for doing that. Clean the tip. And let's get soldering. I'll be careful with this new solder because it's not as thick as the last lot that I used to use. There we go. So can I solder and talk at the same time? Let's find out. Basically I want to talk about of why I haven't done as many videos as like I like to normally do, which is basically one a week. This past month well, this is the first one and it's the last day of the month um, mainly because my life changed a little bit I now have a new job and basically I don't get to leave my new job until well after 11 o'clock at night um, basically my hours have changed an awful lot in my life 
And because of that, basically, I'm having to get used to the new hours and the physical demand on my body. Not just from the lack of sleep, but the actual true physical of my new job. And this isn't working, is it? Right, let's try to get into the pins this way. Obviously, I'm just going to make sure I don't get any shorts. Should we zoom in even more? Dum dum dum. That's as far as I can zoom. So, yeah, I want to apologize to the people that have been following the channel and especially the people that um, actually back the channel. I understand that they don't want to do it anymore. I also am very appreciative. Oh, got careful of leaks there. Um, basically, I think my body's adjusted now enough physically that um, I'm not as tired as I was, but I'm still getting. Maybe not quite as much sleep as I would like to have. Um, and I realise it's all boo-hoo, tiny violin and everything like that, but um, it's just the way that life is. Everything's relative, as Einstein said. Either that, it was something about apples. Um, that's a joke. No. So I'm be moving on forward I hope to be getting back to doing uh, two videos a month at least It'd be nice to be getting back to four I've also had to wait for stuff to be delivered um, not this thing this thing arrived ridiculously quick um, but other things that I have ordered oh, maybe I can't solder and talk at the same time oh dear um, Unless it's a skill enough, I don't know how the people do it. My point is though, I really do appreciate everyone who's been following the channel. I appreciate that I have managed to get to one and a half thousand subscribers before the end of the year. I was really looking forward to doing that. It'd be nice to be even higher of course. But um, if I'm only doing one tiny video a month, now it... Uh, I can understand why the growth has slowed down again. Just as it started getting going, it um, has slowed down again. If you have any ideas on what I should be doing or the things that you just want to say hi, please leave comments in, in the comments because it would be nice to know that there's people still out there interested in what I'm doing, what I'm getting onto in my life. Not that my personal life really comes into it too much. Um, but, you know... Be nice to know. My soldering skills with this stuff. I think I desperately need to go get some glasses as well. Old age has definitely started to kick in. Oh dear me, that's a big bottle of solder for no reason. Well, that's not good, is it? Hopefully, I can just. See the silence of me, I can't, when I concentrate, I go quiet. Especially when I play computer games, certain people will know that. Don't call me fair fight for no reason when it comes to games. Um, oh no, that's not what they call me when I play games online. <laughs> it is my user channel, uh, username though. 
we go. I managed to shift it that way. I need to shift it. There we go. I haven't got a short again. Yes, I really don't understand on how people can solder and talk all at the same time. Maybe I need to put some more flux on. In fact, it really doesn't look like I've put that much flux on. Maybe I should try again with the flux. What do you say? I thought I'd got some on there, but um, maybe not. And you can see why I've always thought maybe me soldering and talking at the same time isn't the best thing to be doing. Maybe it's a skill I need to be stuff. So, there definitely is flux on here, I can see it now. Maybe I just need a bit more. Paint it a little bit better than I did do before. And as I say, this solder is a lot thinner than what I'm used to as well, which is maybe a good thing on this particular board, but um, we'll see. Maybe we can definitely get the join there, I think. Next one up. Hear a funny noise every now and again, it's because I'm cleaning the tip in one of those um, brush washer things in a metal tub. You know what I'm talking about. If you do some solder, I'm trying to get a decent amount of solder on, but at the same time, not put it everywhere else. That's better, isn't it, on that one? Where do we go? Yeah, definitely got to keep cleaning the tip on each one. Come on, soldier, go down. It's been awkward. Oh, don't. Very worried now about getting enough solder on. I'll oh, maybe just come back to that one. Oh, please don't be a bridge there as well, it is, isn't it? Last thing I need is a bridge. I'd rather not have full connection than have a bridge. I think that's fine though. That'd be professional soldiers out there going, what is he doing? Truth is, I don't know, I'm a new myself, I've said. Maybe I could have done even a finer tip to get into these ones. But uh, it's what it come with and it's all I've got. Maybe I should try doing it this way, because I am right-handed. Yeah, I'm really not liking the look of that there either. This one again. 
Yep, gone quiet again, haven't I? See, it's difficult. It's very difficult skill this to be able to talk and solder all at the same time. And what was what was the uh, American president that said that the fact that he had trouble walking and chewing gum at the same time was that Reagan? I might have the same problem. Um, dear me. As long as there's a connection, I'm not too bothered. I can't be a perfectionist about everything in my life, because mainly I'm not that good. But yeah, let's go back to me talking about the channel. I do want to improve the channel, I do want to get bits. I've got some interesting things that I need to solder up. I've got some gadgets. My wife is even that she already got me my Christmas present, or at least one of them which I'll be opening up and doing a review on before Christmas um, so that hopefully some of you can go, oh, I'd like one of them so you can get it just in time for Christmas as well or whichever um, you know, festive thing that you like to celebrate I don't care which one you do I don't really think it really matters these days um, as long as we all have a nice time. Let's be honest, after all these years, we really could do with a, well, a nice time with family and friends at a festive thing, you know, have a reason to celebrate something. Well, definitely doing it this way is easier. And what I was trying to mess around before. And some of these blobs of solder are working a lot better than others. So yeah, instead of doing it up and down, I'd recommend you do it sideways. Depending on which way, if you're a lefty or a righty. Oh, look at that. What a wonderful bridge. Stupid thing. So what even it looks when you're not particularly skilled at doing this. bridge in the first place, I don't know. There we go. And now I've got a bridge on the other side, dear me. All I wanted was to put some solder there. looking better for that one. Anyway, let's try oh, it's cleaning the nib again. This one. Yeah. There we go. That's better still, isn't it? Nearly looking like a professional. <laughs> um, maybe not. Right. Yeah, so if you want to say anything of where I'm going wrong with this. Oh, I've done it again. Stupid bridge. So it just goes to show that this isn't maybe the easiest of tasks if you're not particularly skilled at soldering. And let's be honest, I know I'm not. 
Seems to be not that bad really, but I've done it again with And I've managed to take the solder off of the other pin now. Definitely getting quite frustrating. Don't know if it's this new solder or I can't remember it being this difficult with the other solder. Right, next one along again. Yeah, but the world's been a funny old place at the moment. Um, one place saying one thing, another place saying another. I'm not going to go too deep into politics, but um, it's a bit weird. That's how the world's going. Um, football's on at the moment. Not something I particularly care about. And I say particularly, I really just don't care. I'm not a sporty person when it, well, when I was younger, I was interested in sports a bit, but um, I was more for the fact that I was doing it. Standing around and watching strangers do it is never something that's appealed to me. I'm not knocking people who do enjoy that. I'm just saying for me, it wasn't a thing. Especially I don't understand getting all angry and beating other people up just because they support a different team than you. What does it matter? I just enjoy the match. It's not like you're playing. I see far too much of that nowadays. Like going back to the 80s. Solder, I hope so. Oh, yeah, stay away from the other one. Let's move this central again, it seems to have moved. There we go. This one's just bubbling instead of touching the contact down below. Is the resin dried up? Is that what it is? Maybe I do need some new resin. I do, don't I? So, please definitely comment down below of what is a good, not a resin, sorry, flux. What is a good flux? Because I obviously need some. This is why I wasn't wanting to paint to mould just straight away, because it obviously doesn't stick. Or work, or whatever you want to use as a term. But getting used to this no solder is a thing as well because I don't think there's as much flux in this solder as there was in the other solder that I'd like to use. What's the interesting computer games that uh, people are playing at the moment. I've been playing, what's it called? It's like uh, Rocket League but with golf. That's a fun one to play with friends. Because you're up against each other but at the same time you're not tackling each other like you do in Rocket League. That's the thing, if you're interested about coming and playing computer games with a bunch of people, I say a bunch of people, there's three of us. Um, basically, we play on a Friday, Saturday night, if I'm around. It, um, I think they play games as well when I'm not there, but um, if I'm there, because it depends on my shift pattern on a Friday and Saturday, but if I'm there, so often if people would be interested to come along, I can start um, well, basically come join the Discord 
and uh, we can sort out which days people want to play. It's friendly, there's no bullying, there's no, oh, you're horrible. Well, maybe a bit of banter like that, but you know, it. Um, it's not horrible terminology being used because if you do, you don't get to play with us. Because there's just no need. It's just the game, it's to relax, it's just a bit of fun. We've talked about streaming them, but uh, I'd like to keep it a bit um, family friendly, as it were. Oh yes, we didn't paint the rest of this, did we? With the uh, flux. We play a range of games, mostly um, like that game I was talking about with the golf thing. Um, there's uh, Humans Fall Flat we've been playing when they bring out new levels. Help each other solve them. We've been playing Wreckfest. We are looking for a new game to be playing. Um, we're thinking about getting what's that latest Star Wars uh, Lego Star Wars type game. Steam did have it on um, discount recently on Black Friday, but uh, I went and missed getting it for cheap, so I might have to wait until the Christmas sales on again. Oh, that's a whole lot of smoke! Whoa. Um, might be an interesting one to play as a group if you have any other ones where we can ever play as a group maybe just four or five people or even ten if people want to turn up depending on what kind of game it is because it would be nice for people to be able to play games against each other even when I'm not there um, I'm not the glue that holds everything together as much as it'd be nice to think so but you know I know I'm not um, as I said I'm just chuntering along while I do this soldering hoping I get to learn how to use well this thinner solder and uh, get my soldering iron into being used again because I've had to buy a whole new bit. Oh, let's not burn the screen. That's one thing we don't want to be doing. Go on, solder. You know you want to go. See, why is it all clump on the other side? What is it that I'm doing wrong? You know, don't be nasty. But uh, constructive criticism is welcome. Just to let you know, I've got it set to 386 degrees Celsius, so I think it's more than hot enough to be getting there. I'm just doing something wrong with this solder, it seems. Well, my old soldering technique is off. I haven't soldered for a while. Do I need a finer tip, even still, for this sort of stuff? Like sometimes it works and then sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because to me, I'm doing the same thing every time. Let's move it across just a little bit. And I say I'm going to make another video of um, setting this up because I still need to set up my mister. I've had it for a year. And uh, quite frankly, another bridge. I haven't. Um, I oh, really had a chance to get it going because the case didn't fit when it came to the SCART and the, the uh, hard drive and stuff and then when it did I've sort of like oh yeah it turns on but then I haven't you know things need to be updated and taken to bits and started again and stuff and I just really haven't had time. Well, I suppose I have had time but then I've bought other gadgets as well it's part of that. Um, stuff but uh, yeah the case didn't fit properly when I first got it and it took a while to get a replacement that did actually fit 
and it took a while to get a fan that actually fits and then there's no screws that came with it for the new uh, fan there's no screws in the new fan box and the old screws don't work so that broke the case a little bit and then I just all gets a bit me um, but they're on to god knows what revision now and things are a little bit better I can only assume anyway um, it was a bit annoying to get a case that didn't work at first when it's supposed to be beta tested um, that's just one of those things it did eventually get sorted if they had taken me in as a beta tester in the first place it wouldn't have been a problem because I'd have said wait it doesn't work it doesn't fit and just cramming it in and making the case bend isn't good enough when you're spending that kind of money especially to some of us it's a fair bit of cash to be spending as I say it got replaced in the end so I can't knock him for that oh this bridge has been annoying now I'm just going to stop for a moment while I argue with this bridge. Well, I'll come back to that. It's obviously arguing with me a bit too much. Um, I'll have to find my braid, or I'll have to get the desoldering station out and uh, have a go at it. But obviously, don't turn it on when you've got a thing like that. Would not be good. some more folks on all the way along this time let's try to finish this a little bit quicker than stuff oh, putting folks everywhere don't want to be doing that it's a shame I've gonna really mess that one up but it can be fixed so no worries there just have to desolder it and then resolder it. I'll not bother showing you desoldering it though, unless I have to go get my wick. Not my wick, my braid. Or wick, braid, same difference, I think. Alright, but yeah, I want to get back to playing around with my Amiga. I've got stuff on my Amiga I've not even shown you. I've, uh, it's just got silly over the past few months of having the time to buy stuff, but then not having the time to make a video. I'm all set to make a video and then something will happen there's not quite enough solder there is it this one definitely smokes a lot more than the last one did before that silly bridge happened. Oh yes, we're talking about computer games, weren't we? Well, I have a Xbox, so I can play people against there as well. I have the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The Ultimate Pass thing on there. I have that until, when is it? 2024, I think I've got it until. So, if you want to find me on there in Fair Fight 14 and maybe have a game on there at some point, but I've also, obviously being the ultimate, I can play against people on the PC, but I've also got a load of Steam games and everything, so if you're more interested in playing a game, not that there'll be that many, I think, who 
when I watch some fool butcher soldering one of these onto here. I'm sure there's going to be better videos out there on how to do this. But this is someone whose skills have not exactly approved. And that could do with getting some glasses and excuse after excuse of excuse. But, um, I used to be able to see this dead easy, um, but not anymore. If I don't get reading glasses, I definitely need to uh, get some of those magnifying glass things. I have got a set, but not particularly comfy. I've seen that they make ones that aren't much heavier than a pair of glasses nowadays. I might get myself a set of them. You know, there's no excuse. I'm not like trying to say I'm fantastic at this, and I'm not because I know I'm not. I can tell by looking at other people's work that they're fair better at it than me. But what I'm trying to show is that someone with a little bit of skill can still do this. Um, is possible with the correct tools a little bit of time and patience I mean those ones have come off an awful lot better than my butchered lot at the start. I mean look at the mess of that. Oh dear, I'm embarrassed. Really embarrassed by that. This is the more fun bit though if we've got to do it. On the other side now. You can see I'm so it seems Partly is this solder not wanting to take that, that didn't work. He says I shouldn't have jinxed myself by saying, Oh look I've got better at it. And I obviously haven't. Maybe I just don't have the skill to be able to talk and do it all at the same time. Oh, I'll definitely do soon to be better if I don't talk and do it. Okay, I think we've learned a lesson here, haven't I? Me talking and soldering all at the same time is not something I'm too good at. I hope it's been a laugh for the people that, oh, I could do that with my eyes shut. You probably could. But I have some respect for people that try. As long as I don't blow everything up, and even if I do blow everything up, it's my fault my soldering don't worry I'm not going to plug it in with that silly bridge that's there I'm definitely going back and fixing that um, I just need to go find my braid or pull the big guns out and use the desoldering station instead but I haven't got the space to have the soldering iron and the desoldering station plugged in all at the same time Oop, missed that one But definitely doing it sideways on was the better option instead of messing around like I did before. I was just doing that has made it an awful lot better. Oh, he says by taking some salt away, damn me. 
try again with that one. Oh, more salt. Oh, dear me. I do not want to make another bridge. That's what I do not want to do. Oh, dear me. That's part of my fault, isn't it? Oh, that's it. Take that away because I don't want to. Create a bridge. How do I do this? I can't see what I'm doing anymore. Probably going to the correct pin, isn't it? Chunter, chunter, chunter. Whoa, <laughs> what have I done there? I mean, that's how it even happened. Yeah. Better off just leaving this pin. I really was, wasn't I? Taking more solder off than I am putting on it. Can I get to the bottom? Oh, I hope that's soldered. It's not wanting to fix itself. I don't know what I've done wrong with that bit. I can't zoom in any further. I don't want to burn the pin off. It just seems to have taken hold at that side. Right, so. Do I have a bridge here? Looking a bit. Well, I didn't have a bridge before. Ah! <sighs> Create a bridge there as well now. There we go. That's got rid of that bridge. Can we come back to this other one maybe and try again? Be really careful not to burn the screen. And the problem is, is that there's an awful lot of solder there now. It's just not wanting to melt. Have I got it that does this not solder need a higher temperature to melt? Is that the problem? Right, before I damage that anymore, I'm going to try to find my braid. At worst case scenario, get the soldering desoldering station out. So back in a moment, and boom, it's gone. How did I do that? Well, simple desoldering gun if you haven't got one and you really want to get into soldering even as a noob i highly recommend you get, spend your cash and get one because that versus using wick is just so much easier now where have i put my solder <laughs> all right here we go let's try again with this silly little two here that were so if even though i put the gun over one pin <laughs> it sucked up a lot for the other one too so Get the pin warm. There's all the splash there. Oh dear. There we go for that one. Clean the nib. Bring it back in again. Get a little bit more and some solder because this is thinner and definitely needs a lot more. Obviously, it needs less more because there's less mass of. Solder. Come on, work properly. And there we go. That's as good as it's going to get out of my mess. Maybe I should go over that one again. That one really doesn't look so great. There. I know I'm all over the place, but I've got the desoldering gun on one side and everything. I've got a little bit less space to play around with. Come on, solder. Come on. There we go. That's better. Clean the nib again, come to the one next to that one, so that one there. 
actually there's a bit of solder on there still anyway there we go right I think that's going to have to do maybe just maybe that one is looking a bit skinny on the solder yeah took it away into the bedding there we go that's definitely looking better right at the end of all that let's everything cool down zoom out a little bit just to prove that I have got the desoldering gun here with me cooling down in the precarious place could burn my hand on it any minute now see not a clever place to have it right the thing is now I believe this is soldered down oops let's do this properly click this up yeah I'm sure that wasn't the most riveting video you've ever watched a little bit more into my mind of how things work but um, yeah I could do with things but now we have a hovering mm. PCB of the Pi hovering over the wonderful uh, what was it called the MT32 Pi cartridge what well, they called it the Pi MS didn't they so sorry <coughs> the um yeah the Pi MMS so the thing is there's this well let's whoa, 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 whoa. need the buttons don't we let's get this mm, but I haven't got a screwdriver anywhere near me just to be annoying oh yeah, I've got a screwdriver one moment while I mess around getting that as well come on screw there we go if you hear a crash bang it's just well truth is I could do a cleaning up they more retro box room a little bit right buttons we put them in this way from the inside because otherwise they'd fall out all right when we take off the screen protector Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there it is. It is there, honest. Can you see? There we go. Look, you can see reflections. We put that there. Put this inside here, and hopefully everything lines up perfectly. Because why wouldn't it? Look at that. See? If I hadn't messed around with the SD card and the micro SD card. If anything I've brought to you, I bet you've got a few of them kicking around. It makes it a nice way to line it up. Let's close the case. Some basically self-tapping screws. Not really because they do a bit of point, but um, let's go backwards just in case they have done it. No, they haven't. Don't go all the way down. There we go. All the way down that side, and all the way down the other side. Don't go all the way down from, you know, they're not close. And there we go. One cartridge made up. It's a little bit off on the screen could do with being a little bit higher so you can see the top of the screen there could do with being a little bit higher up buttons seem to work micro SD card we have one of those stick that in there is it a Oh, it's not a springy one, it's just one that you slide in and out. It's a shame it's not a springy one. A springy one's always nice. I don't seem to be a springy one. No, it's definitely not a springy one. I always prefer the springy ones. They're cheap too. Um, point is, that goes inside there. Slots in, and then 
it will sit and stare at you looking like that. Next video that I'll make on this will be testing it out. It might not be my next video, but the next video I make on this will be testing this out. Until then, thank you for sticking by this whole video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sticking by the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that fun stuff. I really do want to get it all back up to speed again. It's just my life is adjusted around certain other things, as I say. And if you haven't, if you've skipped to the end, skip back to when I'm talking about that. But in the meantime, click that Patreon link, click that Discord link in the description. And as always, happy gaming.